Thank you very much, ma'am. Now we'll move towards stream B, that is speech competition. The judges for speech competition are Professor Rustamari from Government Postgraduate College, Abbottabad, Ms. Bushra Masood, District Youth Officer, Mansehra, and Mr. Muhammad Ikram, Ashpakian debater and winner of various debate competitions at national level. Stream B, speech competition. The team is Let's Agree to Disagree. The speaker will be allowed to present his or her views within three minutes. A warning buzzer will be rung after two and a half minutes. A final buzzer will be rung, indicating the end of the stimulated time. Points will be deducted if the speaker exceeds the time limit of three minutes. There will be a lively rebuttal for two minutes with the interjections from the participants and audience, maximum two questions. There will be a hot seat for the participants in which they will have to answer a question asked by the judges. Points will be awarded on the basis of contents, arguments, delivery, rebuttal, timekeeping and overall impression. Language of speech is English. I invite Bilal Basi from IIUI School and Colleges, Boys Campus, Mansetta. Have you all ever thought about that a pessimist sees the difficulty in every situation where an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty? Well, people have certain beliefs and I have my own and we should agree to disagree on certain things. Honorable judges, honorable jury members and respectable teachers, Assalamu Alaikum. Today, I got the opportunity to discuss my, uh, to express my feelings on a very effective subject, let's agree to disagree. Let's agree to disagree. What does this mean? When you come up with an agreement with the person you disagree to resolve a conflict, and usually it is a debate or a quarrel. When we accept others' opinion and we stop arguing and we move on, but the sad reality is arguments happen all the time. Honorable judges, I thought about this statement for a long time and my conclusion is partial. On some ground, I agree with this statement and with apology, I disagree too. My, uh, honorable judges, I have been in many conversations in my life on different topics with different people having different mindsets. Some of them decimate the frustration, insult and bad reasoning while some of them are kind of intelligent and thoughtful. Disagreement when done in the right way is a key to our growth, development and transformation. But it takes courage, communication and care. Sometimes we don't voice our opinion because yes. in interest it asks us about knowledge and aware. it asks us to be knowledgeable and aware. It resolves our problems productively. It challenges us to solve our problems. And many, many examples are there. The country in which we are enjoying our freedom is the outcome of disagreement. Before the partitioning of subcontinent, some sound minds realize that they are being discriminated. And the disagreement, the disagreement leads lead it towards an unpredictable and cyclonic revolution in the form of Pakistan. Honorable jury members, I gotta end my speech and to tell you that when we when we argue or reason, we it leads us towards destruction, riots, and reasoning. And we should stop reasoning and we should agree to disagree. We don't want to criticize someone who is personally related to, who is personally related, uh, related to his religious beliefs. If we disagree to something like this, we can it can lead us towards destruction, failure, uh, social conflicts, and certain evils can raise their heads like sectarianism. Honorable jury members, I, due to the shorter of time, I got to end my speech with this cup, uh, words, cup, uh, this couplets. If you can be them, join them. And I want to thank Jinnah Public School for conducting such an excellent function. Thanks. Any questions?
Anybody from the audience for the questions? No questions? So, uh, I'll ask a question. Uh, you have said in your speech that uh, Pakistan is a result of a disagreement. So, if we do, did the people of the subcontinent, specifically Muslims, agreed with that disagreement or they stood with the disagreement? They stood with the disagreement. So, uh, your, your point of here is that we should agree with the disagreement. Uh, it's my topic and uh, you can relate it that we should agree to disagreement. Okay, thank you. He was Bilal Basir from IIUI schools. He took 3 minutes and 25 seconds for his speech. 3 minutes and 25 seconds.